Richard Curtis. Let's go. It is game time, baby. You guys feeling it? Are we ready for this? Two great families. Unbelievable. Welcome to the Classroom Family Edition. On the show tonight, you guys are going to love them. It's the greatest family to my right, the Thorne family here. We also have the Stevens family from Gloucester Township, Jersey. And it's winner take all. It's cash, it's bragging rights, it's walking away with the summer money. Who wants it more? We find out now. Let's kick it all off with a little pop quiz. Grab your buzzers. We have one minute on the clock. Each correct answer will be worth 10 points. If you buzz in first, wait until your name is called to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other team can buzz in and will have a chance to steal. Game starts right now. Globally, what is the most common eye color? First one in, Sarah. Blue. Incorrect for the steel. Thorn family, buzz in if you want to guess. Lily. Brown. That's going to get you there. In 2021, what Fenty Beauty founder was named a national hero by her home country of Barbados? Kathleen. Rihanna. Yeah, absolutely right. When put together, two complementary angles create what type of angle? Phoenix. Right. That's going to get you there. Which U.S. state capital is also called Music City? Darren. A Nashville. Nashville's right. In what track and field sport do athletes jump over a high bar using a long and flexible pole to help them lift? Kathleen. The high jump. Darren. Pole vault. Pole vault. Extra credit, let's double the points here. While visiting Berlin, what former U.S. president famously said, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall? Darren again. Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan is right, gets you up to 50. What is the name of the narrator in Herman Melville's Moby Dick? No answers there. Ishmael is what we are looking for, and that's going to take us to the end of Pop Quiz. Thorn family, good for you guys, in the lead with 50 points on the game there. Stevens, a few wrong answers. They capitalized on the steal, but the buzzers were quick, and that could show you well here with this game. All right, six great players. Wait till you meet them. Hi, I'm Darren, representing the Thorn family. My motto is work hard, play hard, and that's what we're going to do today. My name is Maddie. I'm an 11th grader at Bordentown Regional High School, and I love pickles. Hi, I'm Lily, a 9th grader at Bordentown Regional High School, and I'm a competitive dancer. Hi, I'm Kathleen, representing the Stevens family. Uh, my husband and I have three kids, and I'm a special education teacher. Hi, I'm Phoenix. I'm a senior at Highland Regional High School, and I can make a weird sound. Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm going into 10th grade, and I've been to four concerts this year, and one of them was on Wednesday. That was pretty close. Am I right, Phoenix? A little bit. All right, what do you say? Someone goes to detention. Put your buzzers down. You'll work together on this one. This is how detention works. I will give one team a category. As a team, you will have 10 seconds to decide if you want to play or pass. If you choose to play and answer the question correctly, you can send any member of the other team to detention. If you get it wrong, the other team can send one of you. If you pass, the other team has to answer the question, and the same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everyone from the other team to detention will win 40 points. Points are up for grabs. So is this game. So let's play. We're going to start with the Stevens family. This category is yours to pass or play on. Do you love or do you hate the arts? Talk about it. Play. Um, okay. You're, I'm, I'm play. raising theater children. We're going to play. Yeah. Play. We're going to play. <laughs> That's, all right. Let's hope they get this one. I believe in you. What is the full name of the composer who created the music for many successful Broadway shows, including Cats and Evita? Oh, 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 Andrew Lloyd Webber. Yes, yes. Andrew Lloyd Webber? The theater kids get it. Yeah, bag those <laughs> points, right? We're going to get you got, well, no points quite yet, but you get to send one of the thorns to detention, and that's worth a million points right there. So is it Lily, Darren, or Maddie? Darren. Darren, dad. <laughs> he, just, he puts his head down, and Maddie just starts giggling, happy that it wasn't her. All right, dad, you hang out over there. You look comfortable, though. Good for you. <laughs> All right, Thorn family, matching in the green today. Nice aqua color. Here's your category, human body. Pass. 
You're gonna pass it, they don't love it. Here you go. What blood type is considered the universal red cell donor? Oh, positive? Top, it's one of the O's. Okay, go for it. O positive? You were so close. O negative. But ow, the, the pass here from the Thorns comes back and helps them in this game. You guys have a big decision to make. Phoenix, Kathleen, and Sarah sit here, but one now leaves the game. Who's that gonna be? Kathleen. Kathleen, our mom. Oh, she is out of the game. She heads over to join Darren. You two get along over there, please. As we go back to the Stevens family. Great pass there by the Thorns, Stevens. You've seen it helps now to maybe get rid of it if you don't love it. Categories, history. I'm good at history. Okay, go ahead. Play. Here you go. What is the name for the group of civil rights activists who rode interstate buses across the southern United States in 1961 to protest segregated public transportation? You guys can talk about it. This is all on you. I know this nothing. This was in my history class. <laughs> this was in my history class. I know absolutely nothing. <laughs> on, Need an go. answer? I've got nothing. Big shout out to his history teacher there, but we know it was taught in your class. <laughs> Freedom Riders is what we were looking for. Free was that what you had? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. okay. <laughs> Tough one here, Thorn family. Is it going to be Phoenix, our 12th grader, or Sarah, who's going into 10th? Phoenix. Phoenix, Phoenix, out of there, the Capitan. <laughs> I'm sorry. The family dynamic on the Steven side is wonderful. I love this show. All right, Thorns, back to you guys. Here's your category. How do you feel about movies? Play. You're going to play this. In what 2018 Netflix movie does Noah use a magical photo booth to relive the night he met his dream girl to persuade her to fall for him. Mm -mm. We don't know. Not the correct movie title we were looking for <laughs> when we first met, but it was a great guess there by you. I uh, hate to do this to you, but Thorns, one of you goes. Sarah, huge decision uh, here. Uh, Lily? Lily, our ninth grader, leaving 11th grader Maddie all to herself. Stevens, Miss Sarah, this is all you right now. The game is in your hands. You can't stop laughing. It's the nervous laugh. Here's your category, geography. Oh, Jesus. Pass. Pass Quit right away. pass. Maddie, the game could be yours right here. Crater Lake, the deepest lake in the United States, can be found in what state? I don't know. You want to take a guess? Three seconds. Missouri. Missouri was a great guess, but not gonna get you there. The pass wins the game with Oregon is Crater Lake. Hey, how about the Stevens family? Get back over here and celebrate with Sarah who walks away champion of detention. Hey, Maddie, go join the rest of your family over here. And how about this game? Stevens just takes the 10 point lead and currently lead the class when we come back. We have it to our class, but now they celebrate. Way to go, guys. Classroom Family Edition on the show today. I'm telling you, we have two amazing families. We have the Thorne family, they're from Burlington County, and the Stevens family from Canman County, and it's anybody's game. Ten points separates both those teams. Our class coming up next. Here's how to play the game. Each team selected one player to draw. The first artist will select mm. a card with a word or phrase hidden on the inside. Mm. They will have five seconds to draw, then their teammates will have 10 seconds mm. to talk and make one guess. A correct answer is worth 30 points, and if the team guesses incorrectly, I'll give them a couple more chances, but the points decrease. All right, so 30 points if you get it on the first try. You might as well just do that, right? Of course. So step one, is it blue or is it red? This is always a tough one. Go red. All right, you're gonna stand back here and open up that card while we just kind of wait and see for your reaction. Okay, you feeling good? 
You did say your favorite class in school was art, so let's see this pay off. You're gonna grab your pen there, and time starts right now. Okay, stop right there. Are we ready? You two, talk about it. No. Outlet. Outlet is right for 30 points. Lily, well done. The art class pays off. That puts you guys in the lead and up to 80. Sarah, come on out here. We're gonna switch you guys. Lily, you pop right over there. I'm gonna give you this card. Good luck. Open okay. that up, see what you think. Now 30 points, they just grabbed on that first try there. That's gonna be yours. Are you ready? Yeah. Time starts right now. Good luck, Sarah. Okay, stop right there. If they get this, this is going to be the greatest guess. I don't know what else to do. <laughs> you guys talk about it. <laughs> Toast. I love this guess. All right, I'm gonna give you five more seconds. You ready? Time starts now. I really don't know. You don't oh my god. All right, stop right there. You can really work this out. What is it? Curly hair. <laughs> Incorrect. We had, I'm give, now here's the deal. I'm gonna give you 10 seconds to finish this up. So really put some put some thought into this guy. Time starts right now. You can still grab 10 here. <laughs> I just want to hang out with you and just laugh all day long. Here we go. This might help a little. What does she draw? Is that a, is that a, is that a basketball court? Is that a basketball court? <laughs> Incorrect. You want to tell them what that is? It was a blanket. It was a blanket with the with the curls, the curls and the head. I was Listen, trying to make puns. I don't it's, know how to draw it. This game is top? not That's easy. A That's a personal. All right, though. we'll let you guys talk about that during commercial break. Before we go, though, I'm going to give you some extra credit to make it happen. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm going to ask both teams this one question. You'll have the commercial break, guys, to talk about it and come up with your answer. Ten points if you can figure it out. Here is your question. In 2021, what Seattle team became the 32nd team to join the NHL? Hope you guys are hockey fans and you have the answer. When we come back, we find out if the Stevens or Thorne family love the game as much as we do. Thanks for watching The Classroom. Stay right there. Edition. This is a great game, people. Now, before the break, I asked both teams this extra credit question. Hopefully, they were hockey fans. In 2021, what Seattle team became the 32nd team in the NHL? And I'm doing my best to not laugh at this one, but Phoenix, but you looked at me and you said this. We're the Seattle, who is it? The Seattle Space Needles. Which is one of the greatest hockey names I've ever heard out there. Not going to get to the points, but the heck of a guess from the Stevens family. And not to be outdone, the Thorne family, who's also giant hockey fans, said this. Uh, we said the Navigators. The <laughs> Navigators. So there it is, you guys. The Kraken was the right answer. The Seattle Kraken, named after the... Cracking. All right. <laughs> no points there. Uh, let's go, Thorn family. You guys first. If you walk out of here, you're in the lead right now with that money. What are you going to do with it? Um, we're going to use it towards our vacations for summer. Nice. Yeah. Maybe do some excursions, some of cool course. activities. Yep. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. All right. Nice. And Steven's family, how about you guys? You got plans? We'll do something as a family with it. <laughs> I like how mom just they took the control it. there. <laughs> Phoenix was literally I'm buying video games. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so there it was. We'll see. Well, hopefully you guys can make the comeback here. Only 20 points currently separate you guys at all. So the big game here. Now picture day is next. Grab your buzzers. We will show you all a picture of a famous person, place, or thing that we covered with boxes. I will give you three clues one at a time. With each clue, remove three boxes. The
The first person to buzz in and correctly identify that picture will win 10 points for their team. If you get it wrong, a member of the other team will have a chance to buzz in and steal. All right, we have three pictures today, 30 points for this round, so it's anybody's game to lead this thing going into final exam. Every single one of these questions matters, and we start with this first one. I'm going to give you three boxes and one clue. Here it is. This person was a talented basketball player in high school. Ooh, tough photo there. Not a lot of help. Buzzer stay silent. I'm going to give you three more boxes, one more clue. He won a Grammy for his work on Nipsey Hussle's Racks in the Middle. Mm. Buzzer still say silent. Not on your playlist, I guess. Here we go. Clue three, three more boxes. He's known for hit songs like The Box, Ballin', and Down Below. Maddie. Roddy Rich. Is that Roddy Rich? That's Roddy Rich for the points. Said with an absolute question mark at the end. And that was where you had to get it to get you up to 90 points on the game. Here we go. Picture two. Let's see if we can be a little more confident with this one. He is the 14th of his line. Three boxes, please. Hmm. That was tough. Not a lot of help there. I'm going to give it to you on clue number two here. He lives in exile in India. Buzzer's still silent. This should clear it up. Good luck. This monk is the spiritual leader of Tibet. Kathleen, first one in. The Dalai Lama? Is that the Dalai Lama? That sure is. OK, gets you up to 70. Mom's feeling it over there. Going into our final question. And here it is, our final picture. This person is passionate about dancing. Hmm. Clue did not give it away either. We move to the second one, three more boxes. She is one of TikTok's highest earning stars. Phoenix. Charlie D'Amelio? Is that Charlie D'Amelio? That is exactly who it is. Gets you to 80 <laughs> points on the game. And that finishes out picture day with the Stevens family making a little comeback here with 80 points on the board. Thorns, you sit with 90, but I have 300 points up for grabs. Where is it at? It's all in the final exam. And this is what this game comes down to. It's all about the topic, and here's today's. It's man's best friend. I'm going to ask both teams three questions about our final exam topic. Each correct answer, teams, is going to get you 100 points added to your score. Now, before you start writing down everything now, you're going to work together as a team during the commercial break. Here is your first question. The Iditarod Sled Dog Race is an annual event that takes place in what U.S. state? Question two, man's best friend. What is the name of the yellow dog from the Animal Crossing video game series who became a playable character in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate in 2018? Finally, Cerberus, the multi-headed dog in Greek mythology, guards the gates of the underworld and is often referred to as the hound of what ancient Greek god? All right, 60 seconds will be on the clock when you guys go to break. One of these teams is merely minutes away from being crowned the Family Edition champion and walking away with a big fat check. Best of both luck to both teams. But first, you guys, buckle up because guess what? Our sponsor, Rita's, is ready for you to go candy crazy over their new candy kapow ice. The new candy kapow ice is sure to be a kid's favorite, and you can try it in cool, sweet treats like a sugar blast blendini, I love that, a sweet shop gelati, or a sugar rush crush frozen drink. Doesn't get any better than that. So now that you can add on Rita's new fizzy candy topping for an extra burst of flavorful goodness. Join in the candy-licious fun and stop by your local Rita's quick because the new Candy Kapow Ice is only here for a limited time. You heard it here first. Get there after the show. Hurry up. What are you waiting for when we come back? We crown a champion of the classroom.
classroom, it's final exam time, and we learned the topic for today's final exam is man's best friend. The scores are tight, only 10 points separates them. Here's the first question. The Iditarod Sled Dog Race is an annual event that takes place in what U.S. state? We start over here with Sarah. Alaska. To take the lead, yes ma'am. Maddie, are you fighting back with the word Alaska? Yes. Alaska, the Thorne family takes the lead back and we move to question two. What is the name of the yellow dog from the Animal Crossing video game series who became a playable character in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate in 2018? Kathleen, our video game insider, you said. <laughs> Isabel. Isabel is right, and for the first time, you lead that game. Darren, are you saying Isabel? We are not. <laughs> Zane, <laughs> named after the great One Direction guy. All right, not going to get you there. Stevens family, you are now in control with this final question. Cerberus, the multi-headed dog in Greek mythology, guards the gates of the underworld and is often referred to as the hound of what ancient Greek god? If you get this right, the game is over. Phoenix, you said. Hades. For the win, Stevens come from behind and take home that $500. Hey, you guys aren't going home empty handed. Thorn family's got Rita's gift cards coming your way from our sponsors. Thank you guys for being here. Take us out with a few of those, would you? Let's go watch the classroom.